to the family members na who are struggling or to understand their family member who is also part of the LGBT community, please communicate with them. Just don't listen to them, but understand what they are trying to tell you. And also open your hearts and your mind. Kasi at the end of the day, kahit tanggap kami sa ibang tao, it also means so much for us to be accepted with our own bloodline. There's really something. It's really magical when you have that kind of, alam mo yun, yung parang security na you can do whatever you want kasi tanggap ka ng family mo. Demetrio, I'm 32 years old and I am from Cagayan de Oro City. I identify myself as a gay man and cis man. My pronouns are he and him. I realized when I was around five or six years old and I must say admitted to myself that I'm a gay guy when I was in my high school. So, I think I was around first year high school. So, yun. Parang slowly lumabas na pagiging ano, baby girl ko inside. I never really came out to my family. I think they do knew already na, ano, na I'm already, I'm a gay guy ever since. So, we never talk about it. But then, eventually, parang I have to... Tell it to them on their face, Abraham. I don't expect for, I know, for an apo from me, because, you know, if I'll be getting married, I'll be getting married to a man and not to a woman. So, yun. Tawana na lang sila. We are four, and I'm the second from the eldest. Among the siblings, the pinakauna na tung tumanggap sa akin was my elder sister. She was the first person who accepted me with no questions. With no reservation. Growing up, uh, medyo ano eh, medyo rough. Siguro that's why I kind of understand kung most of the you know of our community in the LGBT plus community are kind of tough. Because mahirap den yung dinaanan ko. Uh, especially I, that I'm surrounded with very macho people. Bawal umiyak. That's what. How they, you know, see a real man, kumbaga. Inatawag ako ng bakla na hindi ko naman ka close close. And trying to kun ano parang equate the word bakla or my sexual preference as a notion of being weak. Well, in reality, hindi naman talaga because we are facing every day with discriminations, whether they are telling it to us or telling it to me or not. Pero we're still here. I'm still here facing the world. And, and yeah, that makes us, in the LGBT community, a very tough. My defense when I was younger is to prove them that they are wrong. In a way of doing art, extracurricular, dun ko binubuhos lahat ng frustrations ko. And I have this kind of perception in the past that parang we, the, the LGBT community, are lower compared to the to the hetero. That's why I have that also in my mind na to overcompensate in such area to, to prove them wrong. But uh, meeting an elderly uh, in the LGBT community also, I mean, a person who is part of the LGBT community helped me shape to become the better person that I am today. When I was way younger, their connotation when you are a gay guy is you automatically, you'll be wearing skirt, you'll be chismosa, and now CDO is becoming more educated about the LGBT community, more accepting, and uh, we, they are also willing to learn. I finished hotel and restaurant management at the Philippine Women's University. And I took that course because it's the closest that I can get to fine arts. I'm a hair and makeup artist. 
yung sinasabi is accidental. But I think deep inside me, I really do know that I was destined to become a makeup artist because gusto gusto pa talaga mag-draw, mag-paint. Dati, paint brushes yung inawakan ko. Ngayon, makeup brushes. At first, it was quite challenging knowing that, you know, my connotation na uh, if you're a makeup artist, automatically you are under the umbrella of the LGBT community. But at that time, I was already out and proud. So, ano pa bang mawawala sa akin? What is so surprising is that in CDO today, there are a lot of hetero, especially women, who wanted to become a professional hair and makeup artist. And they see us, yung mga nasa LGBT community na nauna, as their mentors. And for me, that's already a big deal already. The last time I had relationship, serious relationship was on 2016. The relationship lasted around three years. When the, the time that I broke up with my uh, three years na relationship, which he never allowed me to have tattoos, Doon ako nagpatato. So these are roses. It signifies ano, uh, resilience and new beginning. There was an impact. I felt that I'm more liberated. But at the same time, uh, parang na-divert yung sakit na nararamdaman ko about the breakup because of the tattoo. And it made me more confident about my skin and also for who I am. And yun din. It's also an added point to... to, ano, to to other guys na bet ko kasi we have already a talking point. Now, if you're gonna ask me, the are pero na ba nagpaparab daw modesty aside. <laughs> but, uh, I'm not really that, paano ba? Not until the right person, I must say. In Cagayan de Oro, looking for a prospect, quite challenging. Marami namang choices. Kaya lang, they themselves has their own, ano, preferences, which, for me, I think doon kami nagde-differ. Who knows? In a month or two or after this whole pandemic, mag-iba yung preference ng lahat. So I do have a TikTok account and it all started uh, dahil last year, no, kasagsaga ng lockdown. It was actually therapeutic. Doing contents na... Very random. I made this Disney Princess na series, and then as a pilot, I did Snow White, and then comments were well. At first, it was quite offensive because I did Snow White, and then yung nakita nila was Mother si Tao. and then one comment led to another, and I said to myself, if everybody's having fun. So, I think I did a great job as a content creator. So, di gawin natin si Mother Sitang. Yun na. It blew up and meron na tayo around 40,000 followers. And if you're gonna search the hashtag Hail Demetrio, meron na tayo around a million views. Mga issues na dapat tutukan within the LGBT community is number one, yung discrimination against uh, one LGBTQ member to another. That's that's really something na kailangan tutukan. Number two, our right to marry uh, whoever we want. Uh, it's a big deal, especially for me. And number three is to to show love and understanding from the hetero na community towards us. Kasi, uh, yes, meron namang respect, pero this is more specific to the family members of the LGBT community na hindi pa masyadong accepted. Sa mga batang nag-out o may plano mag-out or you are still in the closet, always remember that you have a community na pwede nyo takbuhan. And also do know the people na, especially the friends, na pwede nyo maging ally. Kasi that's also important. And always believe in yourself because everyone, and I say everyone in this world, is bound to be for something else, for something great. Uh, for the people of CDO, hi, ako de si Hale Demetrio, taga Cagayan de Oro, and 
Uh, what I wanted to tell you is that Uh, I am part of the LGBT community and di naman nyo kailangan na tanggapin ako ng buong buo pero what we only expect from you is to have a mutual understanding and respect kasi medyo masakit din kung magpalit tayo ng sitwasyon and I cannot even imagine it if that will happen.